so we're live we're What's live up? again live again for number three <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind of late but we're here yeah i mean uh it's always good to catch up and uh review uh things we've done and what we're looking forward to how you been <laughs> pretty busy to be honest just trying to catch up on homework before this austin trip so yeah and you're leaving tomorrow right yeah, finally tomorrow. So I got to hit the bed early tonight because I'm trying to get to the airport around 5 a.m. or something. So, Wow, that's early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's uh, the travel life, I guess. Yeah, fun times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm busy. I've been busy this past week as well and just recently too. But um, some things for the agenda today are towards the bottom here. Uh, we'll start with, I guess, this coming week's goal, like what you right. plan to do and um, looking forward to achieving. <laughs> right. So I guess you might want to start because I'm still thinking about some things in my head. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, so I today, you know, since it's the beginning of the new week, I start. I think I'd start there. I had a phone interview today with a health company here in Austin. They're based out of Minnesota, but they're growing their tech team here in Austin. And it's a huge company, man. Like they basically, they have a ton of funding. Their last round of funding was $630 million. Jesus, dude. And they're, they're looking for a mid-level engineer. So hopefully I can get into it. They, they already hired a bunch of seniors. So that's, that's a good news. Right. And, you know, it was just a general phone conversation about kind of my background and what kind of things I'm looking for in the company and, you know, compensation and all that good stuff. And I think the next step for that is just doing this technical interview that they have me do online for uh, it's on hired.com actually on this Wednesday. And other plans for the week is just basically the normal grind for me and i do have two other phone slash technical interviews calls tomorrow and wednesday and yeah and some other news but uh, i'll go into that a little bit later on this call um were you able to think of some goals for this week already yeah so just one of the main things i need to get going is like we're trying to get the loquela landing page uh working yeah for sure so i should have something working by friday hopefully or earlier than that um and besides that uh i mean i'm gonna be in austin next week mm -hmm. so um, my goal is just to make it some so, to some meetups even though i think i, I you sent me a link to one but i'm on the wait list because i just signed up and it's kind of oh. full the built-in in austin thing right so, I mean, I've been using that site to get to apply to jobs, actually. I didn't know that was the meetup until I looked at the link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's the site I used to apply to the Cloudflare uh, job, the one they sent me the test for. Oh, you did? So, I, I got it through, I got the position through there. Okay. Um, and um, another goal is, I guess, I'm not going to say homework because that's just a, a weekly thing I do for school. Yeah. And uh, besides that, oh, I guess try to finish one of the things I started on um, Frontend Masters, mm -hmm. the web dev um, track, I think. So I got started on that today. So hopefully I get going deeply this week. So yeah, and that's about it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I think you just reminded me about Frontend Masters. I'm I'm still like all these things I do. They're basically I'm doing every day. So it doesn't seem like a goal for me. It's just more of continuing what I'm already doing. Right. And I'm still on Kyle Simpson's course, learning the very nuances of JavaScript. <laughs> so right. I just, uh, just for fun, like, uh, I learned that if you try to turn an empty string into a number, I think I asked you this, right? Or did I ask you somebody else? Uh I don't remember so. <laughs> okay. so by somebody else. But like JS has some very funny nuances. So if you try to number an empty string, the result actually returns as zero. That's kind of funny. Yeah. 
like in my mind it's almost like well it's an empty it's it's like two quotes basically right there's no space or anything right to me that almost uh signifies like not a number like it's not existing yeah. there's nothing there's no substance yeah i was gonna say that because I, I i thought i was gonna return nan but no yeah so like maybe if it had like a space inside then i would say oh yeah that returns zero that kind of makes sense it has a little bit of substance keyword mm. substance you know that's just my kind of <laughs> own interpretation and like right. numbering of a an array is like i think it was it was also zero but a numbering of an object is actually nan <laughs> so it's like there's a lot of these nuances that i've been coming across it's kind of um crazy uh yeah. cool um yeah i think we're both just kind of keeping on the same track and we do have some other plans with the group here in austin to hopefully to get started soon yeah when you get here yeah yeah let's check out uh past week achieve achievements um were you able to handle any calls and stuff last week or um last week i did have a couple calls um mm-hmm. It was basically this recruiter guy, but he basically told me he's going to keep my contact info at, at hand just in case anything else comes up. Yeah. So he got he got kind of confused because he saw the locations for the past positions I had, mm-hmm. and it said VA. So he thought I was – well, he thought I'm in VA, and I'm, I am, but I'm coming down to Austin. So. Oh, okay. Um, And then I did finish the Cloudflare take-home test I told you about. Congratulations! So that last week, <laughs> um, you know, I did apply to a couple more jobs. Besides that, nothing much, man. Just trying to get ready for this trip. To be honest, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. it's always a lot of preparation when you yeah. go somewhere new, and you know, yeah, just accommodations and travel plans. It's just it takes yeah, up. Yeah, I, I guess time. I guess I should say um, I did work on some music. Okay. So, <laughs> So I have some ideas that already, I mean, they've been there on my computer for a while, but I just need to finish them, so. Okay, cool. So I was able to finish a couple, so I should post them soon. Yeah, Yeah, and on your part about music, I also used one of your tracks for the Discord video that I uploaded this past week. Yeah, yeah, I actually saw it last night, so it it looks (laughs) pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, and uh, just trying to throw some traffic your way and um, hopefully use more of your stuff here in the next couple videos. Yeah. In terms of my achievements this past week, I did an on-site at a big fintech company in Houston. So I did a lot of traveling, took like, you know, six hours round trip yeah. driving. <laughs> um, I haven't heard from them yet, but I think it was more to, I was gonna use that as leverage to negotiate better deals with other companies I'm interviewing with. So I I just went to interview with them. And last week I also got together with um, one of the Austin tech groups here and became part of their leadership team. So we were discussing kind of how to proceed with um, events for the year, essentially. And just more uh, phone calls basically with, um, you know, recruited only phone, only phone interviews, not nothing serious. Um, I was going to go to Home Depot on Thursday for some reason the interview never lined up they never confirmed with my recruiters so I didn't go on Thursday I didn't get any calls on Friday either and uh, still today I haven't heard anything yet but so I'll probably follow up on that Um, other than that yeah I mean I think just a lot of the job search grind looking for jobs and keeping up with like oh what company am I talking to making sure you know I have the right information and stuff like that right cool um i think that's all i have for the achievement side of things uh right. you want to move on to meetups or something yeah let's do it okay i'll start this one off too um yeah. you were talking about this meetup this coming wednesday it was for yeah. built in yep a uh, huge i don't want to say huge but like it's a national website that links a lot of big tech companies and they advertise you know uh, jobs and stuff like that however they have a live event this wednesday here in austin so i signed up i got in so i'm, I'm gonna try to go to that um nice too. 
what other events do you have on your horizon or are you trying to attend here in Austin area? Um, I will need to look at the screenshot you sent me of your calendar because there I saw a bunch of like meetups coming up. Mm -hmm. So I'll need to look into that. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if I do get a ticket to go into that built in Austin one, <laughs> I'm definitely going. So hopefully I get something. I mean, it's it's coming up soon. So yeah, who knows if I'll get a ticket. Um, but we'll see. Besides that, um, I guess the Hispanic meetup I'm looking forward to going. Okay. And we'll see what other meetups we go to. I mean, you know most of the meetups down there, so. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'll invite you, you. too. Um, I, I, have, I don't really share, like, the meetups I go to publicly, mm -hmm. but I, I usually talk about them after I've gone to them. So, um, you know, you're still first in line to know, you know, which what's going on. Right. And, yeah, just along the lines of the meetup as well, um, I'm excited to to go to more of the Hispanic hackers meetup. Uh, I did, I think I told you, but on, on Saturday they had a yoga and hike thing that was part of in collaboration with another group in the area. It was a business oh, group. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And, uh, I, I love being around, um, you know, Hispanic people too. They just warm and right. they're chill and, uh, and hiking dude. That sounds, I'll be down <laughs> to do that. Yeah. We did yoga by the river, which was pretty dope. <laughs> You said hiking and yoga. Hiking and yoga, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. yeah. But it was it was chill. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, we're we're super hardcore or whatever. It was just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, you know. Because there, there's nice. people of different levels there. There wasn't, you know, hardcore right. people. Cool. Um, I guess we'll lump the last two kind of together because I, right. I don't have too much. Uh, just side jobs, uh, calls, interviews, and on-sites for, you know, this coming week or last week or what have you. Right. Yeah, so I guess for side jobs, I mean, I'm still uh, being employed by those two companies I work for here mm -hmm. in Virginia. So that's good. I'm still getting paid. Um, they haven't asked for anything yet, like anything they want me to do. So <laughs> that's good. Um, and hopefully they won't ask me to come down to the office because I won't be here. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to say I'm not, in, I'm, I'm not in Virginia, so sorry. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> and... um. But yeah, I mean, besides that, the other income I'm trying to get to is just um, music stuff. I'm still trying to get it to Spotify. Yeah. But I'm still trying to get, um, bundle up together a bunch of songs to put on there. Yeah. Okay. But so like again, as a package deal, like you'll sell it? Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Just an EP. That was, that's what they call it. I think it's like four songs. Uh, oh, EP. EP. Yeah. What is, is a playlist extended playlist or what was that? I'm I'm not sure. I always see that <laughs> like on, on bands that I listen to, so EP or like a single. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LP is it's just like the whole uh, album. But um, I I the thing I need to do though is like I need to promote this stuff on Instagram so other people can find it. Yeah, yeah, and so, um, so, yeah, on on that line. I do know like an artist that promotes himself on Instagram as well. And I, I like his music a lot and it's just, you know, it's just him pictures of him and he posts like, Oh, I have a new song or I'm working on a new song and right. just like building up that excitement. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah bu building up the hype. I, yeah. That's what I need to do right build now. The so. hype. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I know like you got a lot of tracks, so how, how are you planning to distribute that or kind of release it on a, a time schedule? Do you even have a time schedule? I don't I need to look into that because some bands do follow a schedule like mm -hmm. like some bands are like they finished recording an album like last year they, they don't release stuff for like September or something okay it's kind of weird okay but s since I mean I'm I'm not big yeah um I think oh no distro kid the, the service I pay for that distributes my music yeah I think you can schedule it for like a specific date gotcha so and that will go to all the platforms I told you about, like Spotify, um, iTunes Music or Apple Music, mm -hmm. Tidal, and I don't know what else. But to distribute the stuff I have right now, just to like show off what I have, I'm just uploading directly to SoundCloud. Mm, okay. And I'm not gaining, I guess, money from that. It's just like people just get to discover 
Yeah. Like, I guess the stuff I make, which is fine, to be honest. Yeah. I think I think you said a time schedule for yourself. Like, say you hit, like, 50 tracks, right? And then you yeah. just say, okay, now I'm actually throwing a Patreon up. And then, like, once you hit 100 tracks, you should charge for newer songs. Because by then you'll have, you know, uh, some kind of following and you'll have better tracks. Uh, you know, you always, you know, evolve as you go along. Yeah. Um, and then by that point, you know, you can keep growing it that way. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was going to add on that because I have, I think I do have 50 tracks, but the thing is, um, I told you I save most of my tracks on iCloud Drive, mm -hmm. and then some of the stuff like the synths I use, like that information file got lost. Okay. So I need to listen to the song again and then remember, kind of remember by the sound from the song, like what synth I use and then drop oh. it in again. So it's, it's filling up the sound thing. Okay. So I need to clean all this stuff up. That that's actually something <laughs> I was doing today. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a pain. Like, uh, just to on on my end, like I'm handling travel dev and sky dev. Those are my YouTube channels and brands, I guess. Yeah. It's a lot of organizing. So I, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. And we were talking to uh, friends um, yesterday too. Yeah just about digital nomadism and that sort of thing but um I, I think it's not worth mentioning until we actually get into it it's kind of you know uh it, it's just a, a point a talking point basically and in terms of side job i forgot to mention that that past monday i went to get fingerprints and a photo for the census job oh cool and so that's like 20 bucks an hour but it doesn't really take off until two a month two months two or three months later when the census like actually picks up you know right yeah, yeah um I, yeah that's cool man and uh just something interesting that came us came up for both of us um i think uh the hispanic hacker groups wanted us to come in and talk about being digital nomads so you and yeah. i were talking about that earlier <laughs> It, yeah, no, nothing right. serious is more for fun, but I think it's good exposure <laughs> and just yeah. practicing public speaking as well. Yeah, because, yeah, I, I feel like if we end up doing it, that will be my first time doing it. I mean, I'm not <laughs> too nervous about it because I don't know anyone. Yeah. There, so <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's fine. So. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely know a couple people after the uh, presentation. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's a wrap on my end. I'm excited for this week and really looking for it to go by quickly because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> All these interviews. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got anything else? Uh, I guess one more thing to add about the side jobs. I guess oh, yeah. in the meantime, if nothing pans out in Austin, I guess I might just look for a side thing to do just mm -hmm. to remake that money. I invested just coming down there like i know make up the money for the airbnb and the flight and then maybe go to mexico but we'll see <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey man maybe. i, I, I want to go too <laughs> i mean when i say maybe there's a hundred percent chance i might do <laughs> that's a pretty high percentage <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right man uh it's good catching up with you and uh, we'll try to hang out again this coming sunday all so right gonna take off everybody take it easy peace out all right peace out guys later <laughs>